So I saw this quick Outlook tip this week and I just had to share it because it's definitely been helping me out. And I'm sure if you schedule a lot of Teams meetings like I do, it's gonna help you out as well. So here's the current challenge. Right now I'm in Outlook, I go to new meeting, for example, and then from here, you know, maybe I wanna catch up with Megan and we're gonna be talking about all the new fantastic Microsoft updates. So at this point, I'm probably doing multiple things at once, guilty, and I go ahead and hit send, and there's no meeting information to join via Teams. And one minute before the meeting, I get a message saying, how on earth do I join this? Well, that's okay on just if I'm meeting one person, but if you're meeting multiple people at the same time, this is probably gonna cause quite the headache. So your current workflow, you might just come up to the ribbon under meeting, hit Teams meeting, and then you have all the information for you. Well. Wouldn't it be great if Outlook just automatically did this for you? And that's the tip I wanna show. So we're here in the calendar view. If you just right click on the calendar and then you choose calendar options, what you can do is then add online meetings to all meetings. So if I select that and then we hit okay, now if we go up to new meeting again, it's gonna automatically populate all the Microsoft Teams meeting information. So that's probably gonna save you quite a few headaches, definitely has for me. And you might be asking, well, why don't you just use the new Teams meeting at the top? And that's absolutely something you can do. And that does pretty much exactly the same thing as you can see. And that might work for your workflow, but there are places where you won't see the option. Like for me, I schedule quite a lot of things by doing right click and then new meeting request. And now because I changed that setting, it's automatically adding that information here for me. So I think it's just a really helpful tip. If you're using Teams and you're creating new meetings from different parts of Outlook, I recommend setting that up. The other thing I wanna show is that you can actually do this on Outlook on the web as well. So to do it, all you need to do is go to the top right settings, the little cog here, and then do view Outlook settings. And now on the left-hand side, you wanna make sure you're under calendar, and then you need to go to events and invitations. And to get this to work, all you need to do is just do add online meeting to all meetings. So select that, then go ahead and hit save. And now we can close out the settings window. And now at this point, if I just go ahead and create a new event, what you'll notice is straight away, it doesn't show that Teams meetings is enabled, but as soon as I invite attendee, so let's just say Megan, for example, now it instantly flips that switch, and if I sent out this invite, it's gonna have all the Teams meetings information attached to this Outlook invite. So that's all I wanted to show today. Hopefully this helps you as much as it has for me, and make sure if you've enjoyed this video that you subscribe, and we'll see you next week for another video.